In this lesson, we're going to review ordering rational numbers. Just remember that there is no calculator for this section. There are some um, fractions and decimals that you're just going to want to uh, memorize. And there's a, here's a nice list of the ones that you're going to want to just commit to heart. Um, numbers like one half or one fifth or one tenth. Those are all good ones that you're going to want to make sure that you just um, make some flashcards for and try to memorize. Um, but there's always a way to figure out um, wh how to convert um, between fractions, decimals, and decimals, and percents, and percents, and so forth. So let's look at number one here. It asks, what is the decimal for three-fifths? So let's say that you weren't sure what the decimal was for three-fifths. What you would do is you would actually do the division, three divided by five. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here, three divided by five. And I'm just going to review long division here. 5 does not go into 3, so I'm going to add a decimal, carry it up here, and add a 0. 5 goes into 30 six times, so I'm going to write a 6 here. 6 times 5 is 30, and I have a remainder of 0. So therefore, my decimal is going to be 0.6 or 0 0.6. Now let's go ahead and convert 5 eighths to a decimal. Okay. So let's go ahead and divide 5 divided by 8. Well, 8 does not go into 5, so we're going to add a decimal. We're going to add a 0. So 8 goes into 50, I think, 6 times, right? Because 6 times 8 is 48. You can see here that we have a remainder of 2. So, all right. Does 8 go into 2? No. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down my 0. 8 goes into 20 twice. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and bring my work up here. So now I have 20 minus 16, which is 4. Does it go into 4? No, so I'm going to add a 0. 8 goes into 40. So that's going to give me a remainder of 0. So therefore, my decimal will be 0.625. All right, now it says, what is the percent of two-thirds? Well, two-thirds is another fraction. So in order to get to a percent, we have to go through a decimal. So let's go ahead and do the long division. Two divided by three. Three doesn't go into two, so I'm going to go ahead and add my decimal and my zero. And three goes into two six times, giving us 18. The remainder of two. I'm going to add a zero. And that's going to give me a six. And you can see here that my process is just going to continue on. I'm always going to have that remainder of 2. And therefore, that means that my, my decimal is 0.66 repeated. Now, if I wanted to write um, the percent of that, all I would do is take my 0.66 and move my decimal over twice. So that would be 66. And uh, that's your answer, 66. Don't forget to put your percent here at the end. All right, let's convert 3 fourths to a percent. So you might know this one off by memory. You might know that um, 3 fourths isn't that going to be 75%. So um, let's just go ahead and um, do the long division just as a, a review. So we have 3 divided by 4. So I'm going to put my 0 there. 4 goes into 37 times. And that's going to be 28. Subtract, that's going to be 2. We're going to attack on a 0. 4 goes into 20. Well, that's going to be 4 times. I'm sorry, 5 times. It's going to give you 20 with a remainder of 0. So you can see that my decimal is going to be 75, 0.75. So now I'm just going to go ahead and move my decimal over twice to give me that 75%. What is the decimal equivalent of 5, 6? Well, let's go ahead and do the long division. 5 divided by 6. I'm going to go ahead and add my 0. And I have 6 going into 50. Well, I think it's going to be, let's see here, 8 times, because 6 times 8 is 48, with a remainder of 2. I'm going to go ahead and add my 0 in carry it down. 
6 goes into 20 three times, giving us 18 with a remainder of 2. And I'm going to bring down another 0. And you can see here that that's going to be another repeated decimal. So what's the decimal? It's going to be 0.835. And then the last one, convert 5 ninths to a percent. So here we go, 5 divided by 9. I'm going to add my 0. 9 times 50, well, looks like that's going to go in 5 times, right? Because that's going to give us 45. I'm going to carry down my 0. And I just have the same idea here. I'm going to do another repeat. It's going to be 0.55 repeated. All right. When you need to order numbers, uh, I'm sorry. When you need to order numbers, let's go ahead and look at the steps here. Number one, convert each number into a decimal or percent. Whenever you're converting, you always want to put things in decimals or percents. Line up the decimals to compare place values or think about them like money. It's really helpful whenever you um, take these numbers and make them look like money. And then you're going to write the original in order. So let's go ahead and just practice writing these numbers in order from least to greatest. So first of all, I have 8 ninths. 8 ninths is going to be equivalent to 0 0.8. 67% is in a percent. So I'm going to go ahead and just change it quickly into a decimal because I always like putting them into decimals. 1.4, we're lucky, it's already 1.4, it's already a decimal. And then 5 fourths, well 5 fourths is going to be 1.25 as a decimal. So now we just need to order them from least to greatest. All right, so, I'm sorry, not least to greatest, greatest to least. Sorry about that pen mark there. Greatest to least. So the biggest number here looks like that's going to be um, 1.4, it looks like. The second one looks like it's going to be 5 fourths. Notice how I'm writing the original number, not the converted into the decimal number. And then 8 ninths. And then 67%, ordered from greatest to least. You can also represent numbers on a number line. So sometimes that's really helpful too. So let's place these numbers on the number line. All right, the first number here is going to be negative 7 over 3. So and that's another, um, another way of writing that. Wouldn't that be negative 2 and 1 third? So that's going to end up being right about here. So... Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to circle him in blue, and I'm just going to put my little line right there. That's going to represent him. Now I'm going to go change my pen color if I can. I'm going to pink, and let's do 43% in pink. So 43%, um, isn't that going to be 0.43? So 0.43 is going to be right under a half, so it's going to be about right there. All right negative 0.5. Well, that looks like that's going to be right at the negative one-half mark. And then the last one, let's go ahead and let's pick this color. Orange. One and one-eighth. All right, one and one-eighth is going to be right about here. All right, so you can always deal with numbers and kind of place them on the number line to see where they, they lie. All right, but that brings us to the end of the uh, review lesson on ordering rational numbers.